right now, before I share, I just want to say, to say that God wants us to stay faithful. He is faithful. God is faithful. Just before I share this, go. God wants us to hear about His faithfulness. He is faithful. He is a very, very faithful God. Well, this uh, at this time you're hearing about uh, this new normal. There's, there's going to be a new normal for this. There's going to be a new normal for that in our culture. Our community. I'm even here in our church to be new normals, and that's kind of the word I got today as I was praying about what to pray about. So that's why you pray about what to pray about. And I want to read in uh, Luke 24 just briefly here. Jesus is saying some of his last words. Here he says, uh, 24 verse 46. Then he said to them, Thus it was written, and thus it was necessary for the Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day. And that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name to all nations beginning at Jerusalem. And you are, you are witnesses of these things. But verse 49, he's about to give the church, he's about to give the church a new normal. This is a new normal that we're supposed to constantly operate in continually. He's about to give the church a new normal of, that's called power. The power of the Holy Spirit. Acts 24, verse 49, he says, he's talking to the disciples. You can play the guitar, it's okay, come on. He says, behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tarry in the city of Jerusalem until you are endued from a power from on high. The church is supposed to operate and set the standard of operating in the power. I'm talking about a spirit-filled, baptized, powerful church where we are the light of the world, where the church is operating, no matter if there's sickness, disease, if there's perilous, if there's hurricanes, if there's blizzards, if there's earthquakes, we are operating in a spirit of power, empowered by the Holy Spirit. So I'm praying for the new normal to be revisited, where we continually operate in the power and the operation of the Holy Spirit. Right now, I'm praying against the spirit of fear. I'm praying against the spirit of man. I'm praying for the Holy Fear, a holy reverence of the fear of God. I'm praying that you will continue to fill your church, as Pastor Green said, fill your people, fill your people with power. Lord God, I'm praying for the church to operate and function in power. I'm praying that we wouldn't have a fear of man, we wouldn't have a fear of people. I'm praying against a, a fear in the name of Jesus, but that you would baptize your church, your people in power from on high, that we would operate as a normalcy. It would be a normal thing to see people healed. It would be a normal thing, Pastor, that people would be, be healed. It would be a normal thing for, for people to, be, to operate in power. It would be a normal thing for the gospel to be preached on the streets. It would be a normal thing for people to be delivered of drugs. It would be a normal thing for the people to be delivered from addictions and alcohol and all those things. So I'm praying that your church would have a new normal for a prayer life, for a time to come together to worship, to prayer, to seek your face, that we would walk in humility, that we would walk in boldness, that we would walk in meekness, that we would walk in all those things that you created your church, you created your people to walk in. In Jesus' name, Lord God, we are trusting you with all these things, that we would remain steadfast in Jesus' name. Amen.